Hey friends, Ash here with Sense. Today I've got first impressions on four fragrances that you can find at your local Walmart for about 10 bucks each. And these are called the Distillery Series fragrances. Like I said, there are four of these. There is New York Rye, Alabama Moonshine, Kentucky Bourbon, and last but not least, Tennessee Whiskey. Obviously, each one of these based off a of state and a spirit or an alcoholic beverage. So without further ado, let's crack into these and check these out. Now before I start opening these up, I need to let you know that these have been covered on a couple of other smaller channels. Uh, Georgia Gent, I believe. Check these out. And also Equality Fragrances. Uh, if I got those names incorrect, I apologize, but I think those are right. I actually uh, had seen these talked about a little bit on Facebook groups. People had started saying, hey, have you seen these at Walmart? And I thought, oh, those look kind of interesting. Plus one of them is named after Tennessee, which is the state I live in, so that made me a little more interested. I went to my local Walmart, and at my local Walmart, the one closest to me, they did not have these out where you could just pick them up and go. They actually had them behind a glass, like in one of those cases that's all locked and you have to go find somebody to come and unlock it. And the place that they put that case is like in the middle of nowhere. It's where you'll never find a worker. So I was just like, ah, screw it. <laughs> I'll get it a different day. And then I just never picked them up. But my wife knew that I was kind of interested in them. So she bought them for me for Christmas. So that's why I have them here today. And I'm gonna open up each one of these, give it a spray on these handy dandy tester strips and let you know what I think about them. Also, if you were interested in these, you don't have to buy it this way in the full package that's 10 bucks each. They actually have like a little sampler set that's uh, $15 that has each one of these just in smaller bottles. And before I even crack into these, one thing that I noticed on the back here is that these are made in China. <laughs> and they're distributed by Preferred Fragrance. I actually went to Preferred Fragrance's website. It looks like uh, essentially if you want to start up a fragrance company, you can get in touch with them and they'll, you know, help you do that and come up with some super cheap fragrances. And uh, that's what these are. So we've got fragrances made in China. At least they're, they're not lying to you and saying, hey, this is made in France. This is high quality stuff. They're letting you know right away, hey man, this is cheap. It's 10 bucks. What do you expect? I'm expecting these to be clones or clone-ish type fragrances. Can't imagine that for 10 bucks they have a perfumer who's coming up with something. So we'll see. First up, I'll do Alabama Moonshine because this is the first one that I just picked up. This is, or has rather, notes of suede, lime, and oak moss. It says it's inspired by freshly cut lumber mixed with refreshing notes of citrus intertwined with aromatic suede. So there's a quick look at the front of the box so you can see what I'm talking about. And there's the back of the box. Here we go, boys. Alabama Moonshine. And no offense to Alabama, but maybe this should have been called Carolina Moonshine because I, I kind of associate Moonshine more with uh, North Carolina. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Alabama is in reality the best place to get Moonshine. Okay, so the bottle, we've got a like a plastic fake wood cap that's super cheap and then uh, pleather that's wrapped around the bottle and glued at the back and there's no batch code or anything on here. It's just a stock bottle with the, the pleather wrapped over top of it. So there's a good look of the bottle. You can see Alabama right there. It's a plastic cap, stock bottle, and you can see here where it's glued on the back. Suede, lime, and oak moss. Oh, okay. Give that a spray and let that settle on the tester strip for just a second. This is an eau de toilette concentration. With these being super cheap, I can't imagine that they're gonna have fantastic performance, but I've not given these a wear, so I can't say that for sure. Guys, I'm gonna have to just spray on skin. It doesn't smell really good from the tester strip, but it smells better from the tester strip than it does from the atomizer. And so it's one of those circumstances where I feel like the tester strip is lying to me. So we're just going to do it on skin and see how this goes. So there we go. Alabama moonshine. Hopefully this does not melt my skin away. 
it just smells cheap. <laughs> it smells cheap and uh, you know, like chemically synthetic kind of stuff, like what you would expect. Not really something I'd wanna wear. Just like uh, a really cheap citrus with chemical undertones. <laughs> it's, it's pretty crappy, to be honest, it's pretty crappy. Yeah, yeah, that pretty much sucks. I'm gonna let that dry down and see if it changes at all, but I'm gonna open the other ones and see if we can find something better. So the next one I'm opening here, this is Kentucky Bourbon. I really like that on the back of these boxes they put age to perfection and crafted for the man with discerning taste. Live smoothly. Discerning taste. Okay, so here's a good look at Kentucky Bourbon and here is the bottle. Same deal, just with Kentucky on there. So this one has leather, bergamot, and lavender. Give this one a spray over on this hand. And while that settles for a second, Alabama Moonshine, not good. It, it's coming across smelling like hairspray, almost. It is pretty bad. It's, it's not good. It's not worth buying, it's not worth wearing, in my opinion. This smells, and I'm talking about Alabama Moonshine still, it's very cheap, like I said, uh, chemically in almost a hairspray kind of way. It is pretty crappy. Kentucky Bourbon is a little bit better than Alabama Moonshine. Again, it's coming across pretty shallow. Uh, there's not a ton going on here. It, it does smell cheap again. And I like the description here, notes of rich leather, lavender, and citrus that awaken your five senses. So, all five senses being awakened <laughs> by Kentucky bourbon. Mm, actually, not being awakened though. You do get a little bit of that leather in here, uh, just kind of a, like a slightly spiced black leather is how it comes across. Yeah, like a really faint pepper kind of vibe going on with that leather. It is, again, not very good, but it's definitely better than Alabama Moonshine. If one of these next two is worse than Alabama Moonshine, then that would mean that it's total crap because Alabama Moonshine is a poor fragrance. It's very poor. This one is also not very good, but it's better than Alabama Moonshine. And I think that the, the coloration here actually does a decent job at getting across how the leather is in Kentucky Bourbon. It's not a great leather. It's attempting to be like a, a rich leather uh, with a lot of depth, but it just isn't. And you can see the coloration here, and it probably is coming across better on camera than it looks in real life. In real life, this is pretty faint. It's like very watered down looking, extremely watered down looking. Like a lot of leather fragrances, you will see this. It'll be very dark and rich. This one has more of like a yellow orange tint in real life. I'm looking in the camera here in the little screen and it, it looks like it's darker there than it is in reality. So if it comes across looking pretty good, understand that in real life, it's actually not. It's definitely better than Alabama Moonshine though. It's just a, a, a fairly basic cheap leather is what it smells like. There's not really too much bergamot at all, more lavender than anything. I don't really think it's worth 10 bucks because I don't think it's something that you should you should wear. I think that in the $20 range, which is what these two would have cost to get, you can go to FragranceNet and find something much better. And yes, $20 is extremely inexpensive, but this is extremely crap. Next up is New York Rye. And I will say that I thought these were probably gonna be clones. If Alabama Moonshine is a clone, it's horrifically failed. It may be trying to be something, but what that something is, I couldn't say. At least not at this moment, because it is, again, just so poorly made. Kentucky Bourbon, as it dries, it does start to come across a little bit familiar, so we'll see. Maybe as that dries down more, it will become something that I recognize. New York Rye notes of leather, pineapple, and pepper. A fresh, woody, aromatic cologne blended with pink pepper, cedar wood, pineapple, and leathery accords. Here is the front of the box for you guys. New York Rye. And again, bottle is the same other than it has New York on it. So there it is. New York Rye. Let's give this one a spray. And let it dry for just 
one second so I don't just breathe in a big blast of alcohol. That is cheap Ventus. Yeah, so that's a cheap Aventus clone. That's super obvious. I will say that New York Rye, off my skin, uh, smells the best of the three that I've smelled so far. It also smells the least chemically. Like, Alabama Moonshine is the worst offender. Kentucky Bourbon, like I said, is better than Alabama Moonshine. But New York Rye actually ends up smelling like a fragrance. <laughs> These ones kind of, they're muddled. They come across very cheap. Um, the notes just kind of mash together. This one, you get that bergamot kind of pineapple open that is very common in Aventus clones, where it's a, a very, I don't want to say synthetic in a bad way, but hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about, bergamot right off the top. Not a whole heck of a lot of depth there. It's basically just bergamot with a little bit of that uh, cheap smelling leather, but for 10 bucks, it's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, out of these three, easily, this is the one I would choose to wear out of the three that I've smelled here. This one has a really similar coloration to Kentucky Bourbon. You can see it right there. Not too terrible, it's not too bad. Uh, as far as really, really, really cheap Aventus clones go, it's okay. I'll let that settle and we'll crack into Tennessee whiskey. So here is the box for Tennessee whiskey, and here is the bottle with the great state of Tennessee. Wow. This one has sandalwood, vanilla, and citrus. It says it's a vigorous cologne with warming notes of vanilla, spicy sandalwood, and bold, bright citrus flavors. Okay. This is a citrus flavored fragrance. That's a really terrible atomizer. Let that settle. Alabama Moonshine is honestly, it's already getting pretty light off my skin. I think that is complete and utter garbage. There's there's obviously no real oak moss in there. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty bad, it's pretty bad. And Kentucky bourbon is vaguely familiar to me. It does still mainly just smell like a cheap kind of spiced leather. Not very impressive. New York rye is smelling more peppery now. Um, it's like a, that pineapple kind of, uh, kind of note that, again, a lot of times is bergamot, and it's just peppery, like a peppery pineapple accord. Still not too bad. Now let's check out Tennessee whiskey. Yeah, that's not too bad either, for 10 bucks. Yeah, those are gonna be the two best ones, and that's immediately apparent. Tennessee whiskey and New York rye are so much better than Kentucky bourbon and Alabama moonshine as far as just the fragrance. I mean, they're all the same price, same brand, same idea but they are two or three times better than these Kentucky bourbon and Alabama moonshine. Are, they're pretty crappy. Tennessee whiskey, vanilla, like a powdery sort of vanilla, uh, a little bit of citrus. It does smell familiar. It, it smells, I don't have it here to compare side by side. It gives me a similar vibe to, at least, you know, just off the top of my head, something like a Versace Eros or a Lanoui de Lome Eau Electrique or something like that. That's a little bit how it comes across. I mean, it's not a, I mean, none of these are actually a uh, boozy fragrance. They're named Kentucky Berman, Alabama Moonshine, Tennessee Whiskey, New York Rye, and, and yet there's no booziness here to be found. Of all of these, Tennessee Whiskey is the one that's probably the most boozy, but it's not boozy. So it's not like you really win anything, is it? It's not like it wins a, a prize, I should say. Yeah, I mean, it's fairly basic. It's, uh, like I said, a powdery sweet vanilla, tiny touch of citrus, there's going to be no real sandalwood here, of course. I'm assuming there's going to be a little bit of like a sandalwood accord as it as it dries down. Yeah, just, it's okay. It's not too bad for 10 bucks. Sorry, I just keep going through like pow, 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 hitting all these different spots, smelling them to see if anything drastic has, has occurred. You know, it, it suddenly became so much better or, or something like that. But no, that's, that's pretty much it. New York Rye, this is a cheap Aventus clone. It's a cheap Ventus. It's mainly that bergamot -y pineapple accord. Bit of leather, there's not too much of that smoke or birch. A little bit, there's a little touch, but again, this does come across inexpensive, because it is, and it gets a little bit peppery. Tennessee whiskey. This is a sweet, powdery vanilla with little bits of citrus. Little tiny touch of some nondescript spice. 
Alabama Moonshine is pretty terrible. Yeah, it's just not very good. Uh, it has a hairspray kind of accord. <laughs> hairspray accord, like that's what they were totally going for. It just smells really, really cheap. And that is the worst of the bunch, in my opinion. The chemical kind of vibe that it had going on in the first 10, 15 minutes has died down a little bit, but it's pretty weak at this point. I can't imagine that's gonna last very long. That is a waste of money. And Kentucky Bourbon is slightly better than Alabama Moonshine, but it's still subpar. Even though this is a $10 fragrance, and I get that. That Axe fragrance, it's back here, I'll grab it. This one, Oud Wood and Dark Vanilla that I got for $2. 99 cents at TJ Maxx. This fragrance, the quality in this annihilates these fragrances. It really does. This is far superior. I don't know why I brought that up randomly, <laughs> just to show you kind of what we're dealing with here. I don't know, I was gonna pick one of these as my favorite, Tennessee Whiskey or New York Rye, but I think they're tied. Those are the two best, and, and these Alabama Moonshine Kentucky uh, Bourbon, those are trash. So there we go. If you're gonna check these out, uh, the only two I think that are worth checking out or Tennessee whiskey and New York rye. It's only 10 bucks if you wanna get it as a cheap uh, present for somebody or as a flyer for yourself. Knock yourself out. These two, they suck. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, if you do wanna pick those up, 10 bucks at Walmart, 15 bucks for the sampler set for all of these guys right here. And uh, I mean, they're made in China, I guess. What do you expect? If you've smelled these fragrances, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all the support. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.